Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2015 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Peter Bloom. Peter, how are you doing? Oh, great, great. Thanks for having me. So you're the VP of Product Management with yep. Instart Logic. Yep. And so you're fairly new. You're like a four-year-old company. What what you guys do, and what what's special about what you do? Yeah, sure. No, great question. So we're a web application delivery company. So we help people deliver their websites and web applications to end users. And uh, people generally place us. You know, they use us in place of a traditional content delivery network. So we do a lot of things that traditional CDNs do, but we've got a lot of special sauce and software that allows us to deliver websites and apps much faster and secure them in different ways than the traditional content delivery network. So without revealing your, your secret sauce fully, um, can, what, what, is, what is special about that yeah. secret sauce? Well, you know, I think if you look at traditional delivery systems, whether it's an app delivery controller in the data center or a content delivery network, those are really cloud-only solutions, and they're very sort of hardware and network-centric. They primarily deliver performance with caching or network acceleration. And we've got all that stuff in our service, but what makes us very unique is the architecture. We actually have a client-side component to our service. So there's a JavaScript client that actually goes down and runs in all the end users' uh, browsers. So we call it a cloud client architecture. A lot of the traditional things sort of stop at the edge of the network, and we go all the way down to the end user's device. And then, you know, I mentioned that primarily the traditional solutions are very sort of network and hardware-centric. We're very application and software-centric. So a lot of the performance benefits that we get are from understanding applications and their component parts, like the images and the HTML and the JavaScript, and being able to make uh, smarter decisions about what we have to deliver and when we have to deliver it. We're essentially trying to minimize the amount of data that we send up front to get someone to see or interact with a website or application. So is JavaScript an important component for performance? Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, one of the things that we're seeing is that, uh, you know, the amount of JavaScript being used is just absolutely spiking. So people are using it when they're building responsive websites, they're using it to provide interactivity on the client side. And one of the things that we've started seeing is people starting to build full-on applications that run in web browsers. So essentially you go to, you know, Gmail is probably the best example. You go to the Gmail site and you're actually just downloading a ton of JavaScript that then brings this app to life in your browser. It's just doing a bunch of API calls after that. So you sort of moved away from the traditional click and you're sort of browsing through a website to where you're actually using the browser as an application execution environment. Excellent. So you guys made an announcement at Velocity yeah. today? Yep, yep. And, and what is that? So we announced a number of things. One was a big upgrade to our software-defined app delivery platform. So uh, we upgraded a lot of the back-end systems. We've got a brand new uh, data platform. The client-side component I talked about, the NanoVisor, we've got a brand new rev of that. And then we're really opening up the platform as well. So we've opened up a bunch of public APIs that our customers and partners can use to integrate to the service. And then on top of sort of the next generation of our whole delivery platform, uh, we announced a couple new features. So one of the most exciting ones is one that allows us to actually intercept on the client side uh, third-party components. And so JavaScript is a great example of this. Now, uh, a lot of web experiences incorporate not only code and images from our customers, but they're also pulling in things from around the web. So whether it's uh, Facebook stuff or you know third-party ads that are coming on their site, those sort of affect performance. Yeah. And so what we're able to do with our client-side component is actually redirect all that stuff back through our system so we can optimize the performance. So it's this new uh, interception system. And we're starting with JavaScript because that's one of the areas where we've seen a, a lot of performance challenges. But from there, we're going to move on to images, fonts, CSS, all the other things that make up a website. So with all this investment in technology and monitoring and we're, we're looking at everything to make things go faster, yeah. but are we doing so much that we're making the web slower? Or wh yeah. what's contributing to like the web is... You know, it's funny, everybody's trying to make it faster, right? Like they're putting faster <laughs> CPUs in these devices, everybody's spending lots of money on the Quad core internet. Quad processors in the phone, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 4G LTE, uh, but you know what's happening is the everybody's on wireless, right? So we've all moved from wired connections to wireless, and it's just more challenging in terms of getting the bits over the wire. A lot more congestion, we're all feeling it here at the show, it's a little slow to yeah. sort of access things. And then the web's fundamentally changed. You know, 10 years ago when we were accessing websites, it was a fairly static, basic experience. And now the size of the web page is totally ballooned, whether it's nice, high resolution images. Responsive design, image, yeah, yeah, yeah. All this stuff is just sort of ballooning up the amount of data you have to download. 
and now you're doing it over these wireless connections. And so that's why you're seeing year over year the size of the web page continues to grow. And a lot of the performance vendors here that monitor performance, they'll share their stats about, you know, every year the web's getting a little slower because it's getting more complex and, you know, more congested. So how do we fix that? Well, so, you know, people like us are, are fixing that with technology. So with the software-based approach, you know, we're figuring out that there's a bunch of data that people are, you know, sending up front to display a web page. They don't actually need to send up front. Maybe they can delay it or never send it at all. And so, you know, software-based approaches like ours uh, and even from the network providers can sort of help here. So soft-based appro software-based approach, we have a saying at O'Reilly that every company is a software company. Yep. What other trends are you seeing in this space that, that you can point out to? Well, you know, so it's interesting. So I've been coming to Velocity for, this is my third year now, and uh, the last two years, it was like responsive. Everything was responsive, yep. and how do I yep. do responsive, yeah, yeah. and how do I make responsive faster? Absolutely. DevOps was big last year. It's or still culture big this of year. DevOps. Culture, and, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. And I think the thing that I've started seeing, which is a little more leading edge, is uh, people, more and more traditional website companies, starting to build web applications. So there's this new thing, single page apps. And it goes back to the Gmail example, where it's basically super heavy on JavaScript. You download a bunch of JavaScript to run an application in your browser, and you're staying on a single page now. And when you're clicking around, it's making requests on the back end. So it's moving us away from this older model where you're clicking links and moving through pages on the website. And so it's changing a lot about how we're going to deliver faster performance. It's going to change how people even measure and monitor performance. Everything happens after the web page loads now, and a lot of these systems are set up to tell you how fast the web page loads, but not sort of what happens after it. So that's one of the things that's just starting to happen, but we're starting to see even some of our e-commerce customers, as they redesign their websites and move on from responsive, they're moving to this sort of single page adaptive site. So that's something interesting that I see. So Peter, let's fast forward this conversation to 12 months from now. Yeah. And let's have the same conversation, and this is 2016. Yeah. Where has Instart Logic come in those 12 months? Yeah, well, I think, you know, traditionally a lot of times people come to us because of performance issues, and we help them make their, uh, their websites faster. And what we've seen over the last couple of years is security is part of every conversation around delivery now. And you see a lot of the traditional web delivery companies are, are getting heavy into performance. The security companies are getting into web delivery. Those two uh, worlds are colliding. And I think what you'll see is uh, a lot of the interesting technology that you've innovated on around performance, we're going to start using that to allow people to deliver much more secure experiences for their end users. So I suspect next year, uh, I wouldn't be surprised as us and a lot of the other vendors are going to hear a lot more about security and performance and how to balance those things. Excellent. Peter, we look forward to that conversation right. next year. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it.